In this video, we will walk through how to schedule a new reservation from the New Reservation page. There are a few areas in your Ginger app where you can make new reservations, but this page is used the most. To find the New Reservation page, we'll look at the left-hand navigation menu. Hover over the clock icon to access the Reservations menu. From here, click on the New Reservation option. Now we are ready to create a new reservation for a pet by filling out the new reservation form. First, we'll choose the location that this reservation should be scheduled for. If you have a single location, it will automatically be selected. If you have multiple locations set up in your Ginger app, click the drop-down menu to make sure the correct location for this pet's reservation is selected. Ginger will automatically choose the location you are logged into, so make sure to double check this part. Next, choose the reservation type from the drop down menu. Let's make a boarding reservation. Now we will search for the pet we are making this reservation for. Type to search for the pet names or owner names in this section. If there are multiple pets from the same family, Click the Select All Animals button to make a reservation for all pets in the family, or manually click multiple pets from the same family in the list of search results. Next, we will need to choose the dates and times of this reservation. Here is where we can select the start date and time, and here is where we can schedule the date and time the pet will be checking out. If the times you want to select fall outside of your hours of operation, depending on your user permissions, you can always override your available hours by selecting the Override Hours button here. This option is only available if you have the Override Hours of Operation Group Permission setting enabled under Reports and More Groups. Check out our User Group Support article for more information on permissions. Now let's get back to making our reservation. Notice the checkbox Confirm for Customer. Check this box if you want to confirm this reservation on the customer's behalf. Otherwise, Ginger will require that the customer confirms this reservation at a later date prior to check-in. Below that, there's a checkbox that says Waitlist. Check this box if you want to add this reservation to the waitlist. The last two options on this part of the form are Add Recurring Dates and Add Another Reservation. Click Add Recurring Dates to repeat a reservation at your desired interval. Click Add Another Reservation to enter additional dates and times, which will create a separate reservation apart from the initial reservation you started to schedule. The location, reservation type, and pets must remain the same for this option. Now that we've completed this part of the reservation form, we can proceed to the below tabs. If this reservation type has any additional services available, they will be listed underneath the additional services tab. For this example, let's add the Kong Treat additional service to Bilbo's boarding reservation. The description and price of the additional service can be found on the left hand side, and the frequency options can be found over here. Let's select every day as the frequency option. This means that this additional service will be added in charge to Bilbo's reservation every day during his stay. When you're ready to schedule this service, don't forget to click on the blue Add Services button. There are several different frequency options that can be added or removed as options here in your service settings under Admin Reservation Types and Services Configuration. In the Additional Services tab, we can add multiple different additional services to a pet's stay. Unlike the Kong Treat service, services can optionally be appointment-based so that they must be scheduled at specific times. For example, a grooming service. On the left, we can reference the description area to consult any information or pricing tables we have set up for the service. On the right, we can select any service options that can be added as optional upgrades to the additional service. 
It looks like Jerry Garcia has quite a few openings for this date for a full groom. So let's add the Paul Baum service option and choose the 4 p.m. spot. Most grooming service prices are determined after the service has been rendered. If that's the case, leave this service price as $0 for now, and you can always add a price later. Next, if there are any lodgings associated with the reservation type, we can select the desired lodging area in specific lodging here. Let's place Bilbo in the blue kennels area in the blue one lodging for the duration of his stay by clicking on this button here. This will assign Bilbo to this lodging for the full duration of his reservation. If you need to select individual lodgings, you can do so by clicking on the bed icon. The next part of the form is the notes tab. Here we can add any extra information for this specific reservation. If you want to customize the notes area, you can add more content by going to admin reservation form. Optionally generate an estimate for the reservation. Click on the estimate tab and then again on the generate estimate button. We can see the base rate of our boarding reservation type, any pricing modifiers, and any additional services we added. If you would like to collect a deposit for this reservation, click create deposit to enter a percentage of the reservation or select the Deposit tab below to enter a dollar amount for a deposit. Click Save to complete booking the reservation. If the reservation saves successfully, you will receive two green success messages, a pop-up in the bottom left corner and a link on the page that will direct you to the reservation details. You may receive any number of error messages if there are potential conflicts with the reservation. For example, the pet's vaccinations are expired or will be at the time of the reservation, a lodging has not been selected for each date of the reservation, the customer has not signed the required agreements for the reservation type, or maybe the capacity has been reached for one or more dates of the reservation. Please read these messages carefully and do follow the prompts. Depending on your user permissions, you may have the ability to override these errors and continue with saving the reservation. For other tips and frequently asked questions, check out our support article, Making a Reservation, at support.gingerapp.com. Thanks for watching.